So before we jump in to the next part, which is running and compiling with Webpack, um, we're actually going to talk about let and var. Um, so I'm going to actually delete everything in main.ts. Um, not to worry, we will have all of this stuff on github.com slash coding for entrepreneurs and also join cfe.com slash github. That is a redirect. So that's actually where these things will be. Um, so what I want to talk about is that let stuff. So if I said let hello equals to hi, um, this is a variable. So if you're coming from, let's say, Python, normally in Python, you would just say something like this, and that's it, right? And then you're done with it. Now, when it comes to JavaScript as well as TypeScript, you have to declare it first. So using let and var um, are two ways of declaring variables, right? So var is something that you'll see all the time in JavaScript. Let is TypeScript specific. Now, these two things are only subtly different, but very important in the semantics or the way it's actually written. So the syntax between the two are different. And if you wanna learn more about this, I do recommend that you take a look and read up on the actual documentation, which is right here. But I wanna show you some practical things about it here that are also in the documentation, but I'll explain the way I understand how it's working. So if we have these two variables, I can obviously change them to saying hello being ABC and then hi being, you know, whatever. Um, so this is how I change them, not a huge deal. But when, when we work in TypeScript, we can actually declare the type it is, right? So if I say string here and then try and say hello, you know, being an integer, um, this is now running an error, right? So it's not assignable to this type. So when we declare it, that's what happens. Now, if I get rid of that string, it's still saying it's not assignable to that type. But if I change declare it as any, then I can actually switch it back and forth, right? So this declaration is also something that's fairly important when it comes to defining things. So we've got any, we've got number, um, not integer necessarily. So notice that if I declare it as number here, I already got a, uh, an error there. I can declare it as string and any. Of course, there are others, but those are a few. And for our purposes, those are what we're going to talk about here. Okay, so we declared them and we can also actually declare the data type that it's using. When I say any, that means that I can change it from uh, hello to, you know, from a string to a number. Now, if you come from Swift, it's different. Let in this case is different than what it is on Swift. This is how it works, just like what I said. Um, so let and var are the way you declare the variable in the first place. So if I try to say ABC equals to another here, uh, it's giving me an error, right? It can't find this name because I actually have to declare it first. So just keep that in mind that you have to declare let or var when you're using variables inside of TypeScript. Now, I would say, I would argue that you're gonna use let pretty much exclusively over var. There are some cases that you might wanna use var, and again, check out that documentation to see that, but I'm more concerned with why would I use let and where would I use let. So there is a little um, piece of code that is on that page there that we can write out. So I'm gonna write function to create a function and I'll call it F and I'll just do input. And in this case, I can say Boolean. So you can use Boolean or number. So let's go ahead and say number. So input Boolean, of course, is a true or false value, right? Uh, but I'm gonna say input equals to number, or rather, sorry, Boolean. I'll keep it as Boolean to stick with what's in the docs. And I'll say let A equals to 100. And then we'll say if input, so if true, basically, then we'll say let B equals to A plus, you know, whatever number. And then we'll just return B, okay? Um, otherwise, we'll return A, okay? So this is a valid function. This will actually work. So if I do F and I'll just say true, um, what I should see is what B is. So we'll just go ahead and console log that up. And then I'll do console um, log f and 
false. Okay, so I have two ways of console logging and we should be able to see what these things are. Uh, I am going to comment out these other ones. I, do, I don't actually need them, so I'll actually delete them. Um, but now we've got this function, right? So this is actually how you define a function as well. So it's func instead of def, like you might be familiar with. So it's func, actually write function out. It's not func, um, it's literally function. So that's how you write functions. It's, of course, it is different than writing the classes like we've seen before or the methods in a class than we've seen before. So if you just write this, also errors. You have to actually have a function. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and look at our server running. Uh, of course, I have to run TSC watch as well as the HTTP server to get used to that. Um, and I refresh in here and I see these two different numbers, right? So um, that is pretty cool. It's showing me B as the first one and then it's showing me A. But what if I change this to B? I save that. It gives me an error already, right? It can't find name B. But what if I change this variable to B? Ha ha, it's showing me this. So I refresh in here and it's now saying undefined, right? So this is where variables uh, using var and let make a huge difference. That's why you would always wanna use let here. B is not defined anywhere else in here. So we would not use it, we would use A. And that is where this error actually happens and that's a, a big part of the reason why you use let. But this is also true for classes as well. Um, so inside of classes, you can do uh, the same sort of thing uh, and using the same sort of method that uses let versus var. Now this is something you will use a lot in TypeScript. So don't worry too much if, it, if it's not sticking completely, but just keep in mind that you're gonna be using let to declare your variables the majority of the time. And if you want to understand uh, a little bit more about this, definitely check out that there or let us know in the comments below so we can go into it more. Okay, so now that we've got some of the basics out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into actually implementing um, Webpack. Webpack's really cool and we'll see why in just a moment.